this has to be the most ridiculous but yet somehow predictable set of circumstances that I could have imagined. So I'm currently on a level 1 account right here. You can see I've killed one thing, it was a Quetz. And I'm essentially testing to be 100% sure that the guide I made last week is going to be, you know, a working save file. And the first thing I saw was a T-Rex. I wasn't 100% sure. I checked the track. It's max weight. I'm pretty sure it is the rare battle-worn female. And I don't have much to kill it with. I've got a 12 gauge with 28 slugs. I've got a longbow with 23 arrows. And I actually have managed to grab a 700, but it's only got two rounds. Yeah, that is 100% the Battlehorn female. It's really cool. It's just, it's going to kill us a bunch. There's, I have no doubt about that. But the more rounds I can get into it, the better. Probably going to kill us right away here. And this is, <laughs> this is what it's going to be. We just don't have the items to properly take it down. So we're going to keep on basically pumping slugs and arrows into its lungs until we weaken it and then go to the 700. That's going to be the last thing. And by the way, I don't know if you saw in my inventory, I have compound arrows. That's what we kill all the Rexes with, but I don't have a compound bow. So, I mean, we're going past an item here. Maybe that'll be one. Otherwise, this is going to be a long drawn out fight, I think. One slug round and some health. Not a bow, but I guess that's one more shot we can get into it. We kind of lucked out in where she's actually standing because we can get a hold of our equipment here. The only thing I don't want is that red dot sight and I'm not going to use the 700 yet. Like I said, I want that to be like the last thing once it's kind of weakened. We'll get loaded. And what I want to know is did we actually have a lung shot at any point? Because if we didn't, this is going to be a much longer process. And yeah, that's body blood. So I don't know, I, like I'm aware that the longbow can make a hard shot. But I just feel the odds of that happening are not good. I'm wondering if there's a rock or like something that we can use to gain a little advantage. Maybe just this sort of steeper part. I really don't want to, you know, waste essentially like an attempt at this. But I want to try, at the very least, to better our odds. Because I don't think she can charge up here. I'm pretty sure it's too steep. I don't know if she'll get lost, though. No, nah, I think she's just going to find a way up here. We're going to just hit her where we can. Because I don't think the slugs are a huge asset to us. So, at the very least, just kind of chipping away at her health. I don't see... Oh, I don't like that we're <laughs> reloading this. Reload going back this way. I don't see anywhere we can go. I'm going to just go back down this way now. Might hurt ourselves. But again, I think the steepness... Is gonna mess with her because she has to go around more and it's just more shots we can sort of pump into her missing is not ideal I think we missed twice did she lose us doesn't really matter because like I said I just want to chip away this is a bit of a longer one so doing better I really like I never expected what you're kidding me no way <laughs> I was gonna say I never expected that the bad would last this long but it really didn't okay so I felt like that second shot was good or last shot did we get two hard shots I want to screenshot her lay in here I mean I always wondered because it's not incredibly obvious at a distance I would say like if it's the rare one but I cut onto this with no items like I literally hadn't picked up a thing yet and I knew that it was the battle worn one so I don't think we ever missed out got the achievement it's actually a very low score, I think, at 2122. But we had, yeah, two heart shots. That would be what did it. Um, I got a trophy shot it. And then in this box that is inside of the rock there should be a T-Rex scent gland that is going to allow us to spawn the Primal Queen. I don't know, that's pretty good. You can see, like, the scar is right down her face. We're going to go with that because there's a weird thing that will happen with these rares. Where if you somehow accidentally interact with the box right here, your trophy shot gets all messed up. That's what I need. The T-Rex scent gland. Finally, in the weirdest, most bizarre circumstance I could have possibly imagined. So, finally, 
we got our hands on the one item that's been eluding us in the Hunter Primal, and it's going to allow us to take on the Primal Rex. And of course it would happen on the first hunt that we're not actually looking for the rare Rex, and then we're on a level 1 account with no items. But fortunately, when we found the shotgun, it was enough. And now I think we are pretty much ready. I've been trying to determine where to actually place this. We've taken on so many T-Rex in this particular base, I just think I know it well enough that it can work. So we should be able to place this. And then, other than the weird sounds, I think that's going to make it spawn. We have two 700s here. Yeah, that should, uh, that should be it. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I've read some stuff about this, and I think they're supposed to go to the scent gland first. And as far as I understand it, it's supposed to take, like... 80 rounds of high-powered ammo, like, to the lungs and heart. So, that's why we're rolling with two 700s here. I actually was going to use the 50 cal, but for some reason, I don't have the scope. I don't know if I lost it when we died at one point or where it is, but I think the two 700s will work, especially since we're in such close-range quarters here, but I think she's walking around this side. I want to get to see her, like, before she actually starts to attack us. I can hear her. Like I said, I'm pretty sure she should try to actually approach the scent gland, but she might kind of have difficulty getting through there because of this base. I wish I knew where she got to. I think she might have gotten lost, but that's the one. I mean, those orange eyes, and it's just so much bigger. Let's see if we can hit that with the 700 and get this started. Nice of her to stop. I don't know if she doesn't know where we are. Like I said, I know this space pretty well. Oh, okay. Uh, she just goes straight into the attack animation. Hopefully she's not going to be able to get to us. I mean, we have to have the cover. Like I said, the amount of uh, bullets that it takes, there's just no uh, taking it on out in the open. I don't like that she just goes into that attacking animation immediately. And I mean, they can get in here, like 100%. I think we just shot the barrier. I'm not sure what to do here, but I don't like this at all. Like, if we get out of here, you gotta shoot through the middle. If we do that, we're within reach of her. What are we supposed to do about this? I don't like it. A couple of these shots are hitting her. I'm trying to, like, keep moving. Alright. Just because, for one, I'm afraid of getting killed in here. And two, because this is not a good way to waste a bunch of ammo, we're going to sprint across here and hope that she doesn't just grab us. Jeez. Yeah, she's she's a little different than the other Rexes. She's also a little bit confused at the moment, it would seem. But, like, there's no letting it get close and then fleeing. She's just straight up trying to... I don't know what she's doing now. She should be straight up trying to attack us. What is she doing? I really don't want to go out there and chase her because the moment that we get away from cover, yeah, we're kind of out of luck. I don't have a clue what just got into her there, but we're going to keep on going back into cover. I'm not too sure equipping the two 700s was really necessary because it's just not helping us. We don't have enough time to get enough shots off. I'm glad that the cover works. Just gonna step out of here, real quick. This is just such a slow, chip away kind of thing. It's actually more what I imagined the Rare Rex uh, battle was gonna be with that shotgun. I think we're gonna go with the same strategy here again, just kind of get across. I don't like being stuck right where she can reach us. Because like I said, they can get you. Without a doubt, but we're wasting a lot of ammo because of these barriers. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I just don't know what it is. I'm curious if we can. Okay, she's she's starting to go down. As far as the health goes, we're doing all right. Oh boy, I don't like this. I'm so glad she got stuck. The reload animation with the 700 is our biggest like hurdle. Um okay. She's going to get out of there, that's fine. That had to be a couple of hard shots. Oh, jeez. 
Don't come in here. I don't want you to come in here. That's what I'm afraid of. Like, the fact that it's possible... One shot to not have to reload, we're just gonna go back in here. What I've heard is, if you stand in, like, the middle, you're safer. Because sometimes they can clip through the walls. I don't like how close we have to get. At all. But she's just soaking up rounds to the chest. I'd be curious to know... Like, what can a bow do? This feels lame, but it's also just given us such a perfect spot. I mean, if she's gonna stay there, just for fun, let's see. I feel like we're gonna move if, like, two or three arrows doesn't drop her. Because it's just a little less than what I want it to be as far as, like, the battle with this Rex. There we go. Okay. Now that we have the bow equipped, we can use that in certain scenarios. And what it does is it kind of avoids the reload animation. Is she starting to die or is she just lost? Wow, her health hasn't changed at all. Okay, she's a little tougher than I maybe thought. Reload animation, we're gonna be good. What are you doing? Get out of here. Uh, might have messed up. Might have messed up. Alright, I think we're okay. <laughs> she might have gotten a little bit confused as to where we were. I don't know. There's two trikes just standing in here. I can't believe she doesn't spook them away. Not sure if that hit or not. It's so crazy the way she does that. Oh, jeez. Um, this could be really bad. Alright. <laughs> I was afraid she might clip her way in here. It's such an odd thing. She just goes on, like, this rampage. Running around, just trying to pick up anything in her path. As long as we can keep on avoiding it. I think we just shot the wall twice. But... I don't want to get killed by a trike of all things. That would be quite possibly the lamest way to die while taking on the Primal Rex. Just gotta scoot to the other side here, and this is really bad. That might kill us, because there's a trike in our way, but we good. Okay. Where did she go? Can we just, like, get these out of here? I really want to kill them and have them not be an impact. I also just want to focus on her and get her taken down. I think she's still trying to attack. Obviously, it uh, was a good thing. To conserve the ammo that we did for so long. Because she just... She doesn't care. The amount of rounds that we've hit her with. And she's just... Is it the sink lane that's got her over there right now? Maybe. I want to get an eye on her blood real quick. We just know how she is. Okay, her health's actually dropping again. I think maybe we shouldn't uh, hit her with rounds where we don't have a lung shot lined up. How is there going to be a trike? Trying to chase us around right now. I think this is the one that we hit, too. I think she's coming back. Okay, that'll get rid of him, at least. This is such an odd, unexpected way for this to go. What do we have in this 21 rounds left? Um, I don't like this. Don't like where we are. She's just so quick. At any moment, I could see her just clipping through the side of this or anything and managing to get us. And of course, we can only run to the one side now because that trike is just stuck in there, apparently forever. Is she going to charge again? Yeah, I don't like it. Don't like it at all where we're standing. Okay, good spot. Finally. I'm so glad that we chose this particular place. Can I... Can we just deal with this? I really want to get him out of here so that he doesn't decide to charge us in the trophy shot mode. Don't really have a shot at his lungs. Maybe if he stays facing that way. I really want to get rid of him. Well, that was a lot easier than the other one. Even though he's absolutely freaking out right now. Can we just claim this? Maybe? Okay, I really don't want to get stuck in here. Oh, jeez. 
Can we get out of here? I'm just gonna leave it. Whatever. As long as it's dead. This is what we came here for. It's actually starting to get a little bit dark. I'm surprised it's only a 2,000 score. I'm not sure exactly what they're scored by, but I would have thought it would have scored a little bit higher. Because that's like the minimum, I think. Maybe they do that intentionally. We hit it 43 times. I mean, considering the guide on Steam says like uh, 80-something rounds of high-powered ammo between a couple of people, I think 43 rounds is pretty good. 15 into the hearts, 3 were left lung, and 6 were right lung. So there were a lot of just not good shots, but a bunch that ended up in the right area. Let's uh, try to get a decent picture with her. Definitely have to hold the 700. That was the main weapon we used. And I'm glad, like I said, that we chose this particular spot. Because, as I mentioned, I'm very familiar with this one over all the others. Because so many times, in the hunt for the rare wrecks, this would be the area that we would frequent. And when the opportunity would arise to take a, obviously, you know, normal Rex, I would try, if I could, to go in here and basically mitigate the chance that it would actually kill us. And because of that, we were able to use all that experience of doing it to our advantage. I want to get, like, a really good trophy shot of this one, because as difficult as it was to kill that rare Rex, I don't imagine that we are easily going to find another one and get to take on another Primal Rex, but maybe something like that? I actually quite like that. We'll get zoomed in as much as we can. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe if we go a little to the side. I want to have more of the 700 in it. Trying to make sure we get as zoomed in as possible. Something about like that. It shows off the Primal Rex really good, and the longer we wait here, the more time basically um, is spent. I'm trying to get that zoomed in just right, but the more time is spent uh, with the sun going down, so I think we'll call that good. I like there's an arrow right in her head there. I bet that's the one, there was a shot that we took while she was kind of running to the side. I bet it's that. So what do you get for killing a Primal Rex? You get a drop pod beacon and that's it. I don't know if that's always the case, but feels a little bit lame. But that is officially uh, Primal kind of wrapped up. We've killed everything that is possible to kill in the Hunter Primal. We've had every uncommon and rare in the game, and we've now had the Primal Rex. Now, I don't think we're done with the Hunter Primal. I enjoy this game way too much, and I think just between playing in my off time and eventually getting to, you know, play with others, I think that could be fun videos to do, either when we get another Scent Gland, or like I said, getting other people to actually join and do some videos that way. I really do enjoy it, and I want to come back to it, but that is, for now at least, going to be the kind of end of the Hunter Primal. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.